would you say to help people who say, you know what, listen, I don't know if I'll ever be like Rob, but I'd be interested in starting to learn how to Some channel. insight anyway, right? right. <laughs> what what yeah. you share with them? And I know you also have a great channeling course. Yeah, thank you for, for mentioning that. And I do. I've got two free channeling classes on YouTube. If you go there, uh, it gives you some techniques. It gives you some basic ideas of how to channel. It gives you an idea of what channeling is. A lot of people don't really understand channeling in, in general, or they have it uh, understood through a certain lens. So that video, the, those two videos help with a lot of the beginner stuff. And if you do that and you get um, uh, some results or you feel like it could be helpful, um, you know, my course is one course, but there are lots of people who teach channeling and teach well. Um, so it's, it's something everyone can do, but with some people, their natural resistances are, are more prevalent. So they have to work through those emotional, mental things. <clears throat> it took a lot of clarity uh, on, on my life to be able to get uh, to channel in the first place. And for the first two or three years I channeled, um, I don't share those channels publicly because I just jumped into it. And the way I'm built, I'm like, if I'm excited, I'm doing it. So I just put it out there without thinking of, of, the consequence of people, because there are a lot of people who, who believe that channeling should be heard and listened to with 100% uh, safety and guarantee without using any of their own um, internal understandings or without using discernment. And, and I always speak highly against that channeling. is not always something that people can do great, even though they do it and share it or what's good for me isn't always good for you. To watch this show and get access to all shows on the Gnostic TV Network, just click the link in the description below.